Echter, Esther, 6. On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring Eth the Sefer of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordechai had told of Bigthan and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the garters of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king, Achash Varosh. And the king said, What honor and dignity has been done to Mordechai for this? And then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king, to hang Eth Mordechai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servants said unto him, Behold, Haman stands in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delights to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delights to honor, let the royal apparel be brought with the king uses to wear, rather be brought which the king uses to wear, and the horse that the king rides upon, and the crown royal which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array at the man with all whom the king delights to honor, and bring him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste, and take at the apparel and at the horse, as you have said, and do even so to Mordechai, the Yahudi, that sits at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that you have spoken. Then took Haman at the apparel, and at the horse, and arrayed at Mordechai, and brought him on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delights to honor. And Mordechai came again to the king's gate. But Haman hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered. And Haman told Zeresh, his woman, and at all his friends, everything that had befallen him. And then said his wise men, and Zeresh, his woman, unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Yahudim, before whom you have begun to fall, you shall not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberlains, and hasted to bring Eth Haman unto the banquet that Echter had prepared.